All right, everybody, Jason here. <clears throat> We've got a package in the mail today. This is seven pounds of game. <clears throat> and um, first saw the uh, initial playthrough of this two years ago. <clears throat> Had been intrigued ever since. Intrigued enough to actually put a rare pre-order in at uh, GMT. Now, certain stuff, <clears throat> for instance, ASL, MMP, I don't hesitate to pre-order it. Uh, other than that, I discriminate pretty heavily on games. Uh, I typically wait until they come out, catch some reviews, etc., <clears throat> before I decide if, if I need to order it or not. <clears throat> but with this one, I had a feeling, and, and I think I'm right, because <clears throat> this is going to be the first or uh, among the first of many playthroughs, AARs, unboxings, reviews. We're going to hear a lot about this game, and I believe it's going to be for good reason. So, what do you say we uh, open this up and um, see what's inside? So, again, seven pounds of game here. Ooh, circus peanuts. All right. Yeah, this thing's heavy. I was surprised. And uh, there's a reason for that. It has to do with physics. No, there's a reason that this is heavy and it's, it's a good thing. So here's, here's the cover we're all, we should all be familiar with by now. <clears throat> and it's evocative of uh, what's inside. Tank versus tank stuff. <clears throat> Infantry plays a peripheral role in this. It is really all about tanks, and more specifically, I don't know that this has been brought up, but a lot to do with, in my opinion, the tank crew. I mean, it's not just the tank. It's the tank crew that you're dealing with as well, of the tank. So there's the back of the box. And you can catch pictures of this on the GMT site or the um, Board Game Geek site slash page for this. I'm trying to get the lighting good here so there's no glare and there's no shadow. All right, that's gonna be the best we get. All right, let's open it up. And this is, uh, before I do so, Mike Berticelli, I believe is how you pronounce the gentleman's name. <clears throat> and I checked and I don't know, I don't see that he has um, designed any other games. This is gonna be his first game. So uh, hats off to Mike for your um, your first game here. Four decks of cards right off the bat. That's what we're looking at. So we have a deck of scenario cards. Pretty thick deck. We have, what is this? I don't know what this is. Battle card deck. Again, say about the same thickness. And then we have another battle card deck. So that's three decks of thick cards. And then this other deck that I'm not sure yet what this represents. <clears throat> a lot of help I am, right? <clears throat> All right, here's the rule book. And you're looking at, how about that? Is this right? Yeah. Wow, okay, 18, 20 pages total, but according to this, about just a little over 17 pages of rules. So we'll run through this real quick. We've got your, let's see, introduction, uh, and then it breaks down components, sequence of play and cards. Now the sequence of play looks pretty involved, but uh, I, I bet once you run through it a time or two, it's gonna be, Second nature to you, shouldn't be a problem at all. Then it cuts right to some card examples, what those are, how to read them, how to uh, integrate them into play. And you have things such as um, order icons, effect triggers, setting up the battle deck, hand size, damage cards, morale icons, Broken and on fire cards. And it cuts to 5.0, which is tanks and crew. And it's going to introduce the tank, the tank board, 
which has your vehicle. Uh, deals with, uh, let's see, range, move and fire level, spotting, concealment, and acquisition, <clears throat> equipment, and crew. So as I said earlier, you have crew members you have to deal with. Uh, and then the draw phase and the initiative phase. So that's what you're looking at here. <clears throat> And then the tank phase 8.0, which deals with the administration step, action step, your tank actions and field actions. 9.0 involves the reinforcement phase. 10.0 deals with movement. And so I'm not seeing a, a overabundance of examples illustrated examples that is to say 11.0 uh, firing 12.0 damage and 13.0 tactics cards 14.0 victory and then key terms index and we're going to get a nice cat box scraping here soon since I moved it in the kitchen and she's decided to do her, do her business now I guess that's what she thinks of tank duel gives it a big dump <clears throat> Um, but to go back to what I was saying, the illustrated examples, say for instance, an illustrated example of play, I will say that if you head to the Board Game Geek site, uh, there's been plenty of um, posts regarding this. So, I mean, if, if there's something in here that maybe leaves you uh, wanting a little bit more, I'm almost positive you can head over to the Board Game Geek site and find what you're looking for or post uh, whatever questions you have and the designer or, or somebody will get in touch with you and, and reply to that post. There's been a lot of support already uh, regarding this game and it, it's only just been released. So then you get your playbook and this is significantly uh, heftier than the rule book. We're looking at 52 pages total and it has a, okay, so I spoke too soon. The playbook has an illustrated tutorial. So that's good news. Runs through setup, uh, round one. How far did they take it all the way? And then, let's see. Round two, and I'm seeing many, many illustrated examples, so that is good. And we're still going here. It looks like a couple rounds of play, so set up, et cetera, uh, a couple rounds of play, enough to get you, um, get you started. Then you have advanced and optional rules. And then your scenarios, 18.0 cuts to your scenarios and that's about halfway through this uh, playbook. You can create your own tank matchups. Scenario one, merging forces. Uh, now I'm gonna speak on something I know little to nothing about and I'm noticing that in some of the scenario two, hold the high ground, I just lost my place. Um, <clears throat> As I'm looking at some of these scenarios, I'm noticing something called Robata, and I believe that refers to the solo play ability. Um, I think there's a kind of bot that you can play against. So that's two scenarios, three, four, five, six. Well, we got some urban tank combat. Six, uh, looks like six, really? So six scenarios in it cuts to what they call historical scenario one, historical scenario two. And so that would be a total of eight, right? Six and then the two historical scenarios. So it's eight scenarios. 19.0, yeah, it does deal with your solitaire rules. So it's in here. You don't have to go anywhere else, download anything. Find some other something posted elsewhere. The, the uh, solo rules are in the playbook. 
And that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, six. Six rules of play regarding the solitaire uh, mechanic. And then 20.0 deals with solitaire example of play. Finally, 21.0 deals with your card index. And then one of my favorite things of all time, one, two, three pages of designer notes. So there's your playbook. Four decks of cards, a rule book, and a playbook. That's where we're, uh, where, that's where we're at so far, if you're keeping score. Then we have, what is all this? Some player aid cards. And it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, let me guess, eight, six, seven, eight. Yep, eight, so maybe uh, for multiplayer play, one for each player. Looks like this. It's your standard player aid card. Has your sequence of play, draw phase, initiative phase, discard step, reinforcement phase, fire procedure, damage morale checks, administration step, and action step. And all these are numbered in order of, of uh, which they appear in a turn. And then on the back is your action step summary. Deals with tank action, um, field actions, order icons, etc. Which brings us to Robata Player Aid. So here's your solo player aid sheet. Uh, folds in half. One, two, three, four. So front and back, obviously. Then we have a little sheet of information markers. Looks like some flanking markers and some range markers, perhaps. And some counter sheets. Here is counter sheet number one. And on this we have some tank commanders, drivers, gunners, loaders, spotting markers, some um, buttoned up markers. And that Brings us to counter sheet number two. All right, y'all. More markers. Damage bog. Um, types of ammunition. Fire level range markers. More spotting. Some to hit markers. Among other things. And then these little guys here. Okay, cool. All right, so the uh, tank cards themselves or where the weight's coming from. And this is not cardstock. This is, I would say this is mounted. In fact, it, it, it is mounted. This is not flimsy cardstock stuff. These are thick mounted boards. And we're gonna go through each one. Panzer Kampfwagen 4 Aus G. Just like that. And then in the back we have Stug 3 Aus G. Uh, let's see, du, 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 du. and then we have another Panzer Kampf wagon, four off G, and another Stug three, another Panzer four, and another, oh, Panzer Kampf wagon six, so that would be the Tiger tank. Nice looking, and I like the top down view, kind of reminiscent of the uh, Patton's best, although obviously a much different game. Another Panzer IV Aus G. This would be your fourth Panzer IV. Uh, another Tiger. Ooh, a Panther tank. Look, there's your Panther. And on the back of the Panther is a, ooh, a Panzer Jager. Look at that beast. Just a beast of vehicle. So another Panther. Panzer Jager, yeah, those, that would, I, I should say Panzer Jager Tiger. There's another one, uh, a different type of Panther. So that was, no, same type, same Panther. Ooh, then a Panzer III, Aus J. And a Panther on the back, another Panther. 
another pan, uh, Panzer three. A lot of so that was all German tanks, and that is roughly half of the boards. And then we get to our Russians, and I can only imagine what the expansions for this are going to be like. Should be pretty cool. Uh, T34, stroke 76, M43. That's what you're looking at here. And then T34, stroke 76, M40. Another M43, another M40, M43, M43. Oh, no, wait. This is actually a KV85 M43. Looks like this. And I've already seen this. I've already seen that. I think we've done this T3485 M44. Oh, SU100 M44, kind of like the uh, Russian Stug, if you will. And I do uh, SU. Let's see, this is an IS2M M44. Big, humongous, heavy tank. And, let's see, another IS-2M M44. But you know what's cool is, same tank, but just to show how much attention they paid to detail with the illustrations, this tank does in fact uh, appear different than this one, even though it's the same tank. Which is cool, I appreciate that. That's your, uh, that's the main weight of the, of the game there. Figuratively, figuratively and literally. Two counter sheets, two and a half counter sheets. Robata, more player aids and you can shake a stick at, a playbook, and your rules of play. So there's your unboxing of Tank Duel and I anticipate uh, tons of great after action reports, playthroughs, reviews, more unboxings. It's all about this game right now, guys, and it's going to be for a while. Um, if you really don't have it, pick it up. It's worth having. All right. Talk to you next time.